Hello and welcome back to the DIY hosting for a WordPress website. This is a short video. It's going to look at reducing the amount of energy a Raspberry Pi is consuming. So a Raspberry Pi is energy efficient anyway. Most of the energy is used by the CPU and that's running at 600 megahertz in the background, just ticking over and getting warm. This is where most of the energy is being consumed. However, there are two systems on the Raspberry Pi that may be redundant, but you've got running anyway, and we might as well shut them down and save ourselves some pennies. The first one is Bluetooth, which is typically used to connect peripherals to your Raspberry Pi. And as in this project, we're using it as a web server and an email server, we have no need for the Bluetooth capability. And the second one is Wi-Fi. So both of these two things have something in common. They're both transmitting and receiving data through through the airwaves, they're sending out radio signals. And consequently, because they're active in their nature, they are having to consume a reasonable amount of power. So if there are any systems worth shutting down on your Raspberry Pi to save yourself some power, if you can afford to, i.e. if you don't need the Bluetooth and you don't need the Wi-Fi, I recommend shutting them down. In my case, I connect my Raspberry Pi to my router through an Ethernet connection. Therefore, I have no use for the Wi-Fi and I have no use for the Bluetooth. So I'm going to shut them down in this video and show you how to do it. So let's get over to the des desktop and let's get going. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. I'm using PowerShell as normal as I'm using Microsoft Windows. So I'm going to SSH into my Pi using my alias as I have done in previous lessons. And that gets me in. Now, you would think that disabling Bluetooth and Wi-Fi would be quite a complicated process, but actually with a Raspberry Pi, it can be done in the configuration file. Um, with two lines of code. So follow what I do, sudo nano slash boot slash config.txt. Now this config file might appear familiar. It's the same config file we used previously when we were overclocking the Raspberry Pi. So if we scroll right down to the bottom, we will see a familiar sign. If you follow this course, you'll see our overclocking lines. So I'll just to stay organized here, I'll just make a note that these are my overclocking, overclocking lines. And now I'm going to add disabling Bluetooth and Wi-Fi sections. And we do the following. We type in dt overlay equals pi3. By the way, this Pi 3 does not refer to the name of my Raspberry Pi, nor does it necessarily refer to the version of the Pi being a Pi 3. This will work the same as it will do on your Pi 4. Disable BT. So that disables your Bluetooth. And then the same thing again. DT overlay equals Pi 3 hyphen disable Wi-Fi. And that's it, so save your file, close it down, and there is nothing else to do except to restart your Pi. sudo shutdown minus r now. And that's it. There is nothing else to show in this video. You no longer have uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi available on your Raspberry Pi. Hopefully if your Raspberry Pi is connected to your router through an Ethernet connection and not a Wi-Fi connection, you'll have no noticeable difference but your Raspberry Pi will now be using slightly less power. That's it, I hope you find this video useful. Please do like and subscribe. It makes it a lot easier for me to create these videos. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Hopefully it's an enjoyable process as well as an educational one. And I will see you in the next video.